Okay, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show again. And I want to try to clear up, try, to clear up the confusion I made in the previous video about what the display is showing you. Because it's different, but depend on the band. And I'll try to show you this time, and I'll try to get it right this time. Mm, it might be difficult for me. Okay, let's zoom in. Okay, there's the display. I'm in the shortwave band, the AM band shortwave. The AM bands it has is long wave, medium wave, and shortwave. And then it has FM. So I'm in the shortwave band, and I've got, I'm going to turn USB off. So now we've got USB off and sync is off. And we'll turn the knob here. And you can see it's showing that it's incrementing one, in this case, kilohertz on this band. Now, if you go to the FM band, it now changes it to megahertz, and it shows point X, X, X megahertz. So that's one of the confusion factors. So let's go back to AM, which should be shortwave, which it is. Back to shortwave. Now, if I hit the sync button, the sync icon comes on on the display. And when I tune it, it's tuning at 0.1 kilohertz. There we go. Okay. Also, if I go to LSB or, LS, LSB or USB sync icon is off, but I'm still tuning at 0.1 kilohertz. So that's the way the display works. A little confusion. I'm sorry for the confusion. While we're here, let me show you um, the fact that this particular model of the 500 has stored in it factory default stations and you can access those factory stations in memory by pressing a zero before the memory number so I could for instance if I wanted to look at memory one that I stored in there I would just press one and I press memory and there it is and you can see it's whatever that was in there before that somebody else put in there and the alphanumeric is just garbage it's just you know it's garbage but if I looked what the factory put in in one I press zero one memory now this is what the factory put in there and I have a listing of what these are these presets are and this one is uh, six 075.00 and it's got an alpha DW Deutsch Welch I think that's how it's pronounced and it's in the 49 meter band if I go to 02 this is the next one that it's stored in memory it's got the frequency the initial the letters BR which stands for something I can't remember what it is um, and so the, there's, there's 49 of these, I believe. And if I use the memory scan button, and I just press it quickly, it'll go to the next one. So these are all the factory set memory frequencies and the ID. Of course, most of them are out of date because that was back in 1989, and a lot of those stations are gone or change frequencies. So I just want to point that out, that this particular model is does have those factory settings for the memories, which is different than the memories you use for setting your own frequencies and information. They are what's called ROM. Uh, memory means you can't write over it, so they'll always be there. So I just thought I'd show you that, and uh, 
I'm still learning how to use this radio. Uh, it's got so many functions, and each one of the functions have su uh, sub functions that I easily get confused. Well, I usually get confused no matter what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry. I think the hope is clear as something. Oh boy. Hope is clear as things up. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. It's kind of rainy here in Florida today. Kind of cool. In the 50s. To me, that's cold. Bye bye.